Hi and welcome to my first Let's Play video of Untap, which is a browser game that you can play card games on, most notably Force of Will and Magic the Gathering. I believe My Little Pony is on here too and a few other games I'm not familiar with. Uh, I'm playing against a real life friend here. He's playing uh, Faro the Chosen Child. It, it's a slow deck, it takes forever to get started and when it get started it gets really annoying which it doesn't make life well actually it makes life really easy for playing a fast deck like me who's using Sylvia who's been my go-to deck since well uh, March I think when I think that's when the second set came out uh, it might be earlier no December actually December last year I uh, really love this card I've been told by friends I should use Reflect in this type of build. They're right. They're, they're absolutely right, but I don't enjoy it. Yes, I know I'm a total Timmy, but uh, if I can't win the way I want to win, if I can't win a way I enjoy, there's no point in playing for me. It's like, well, uh, there's better things in life to be super competitive at, like work or school not card games especially card games where i believe the best thing you can win is a trip to japan which is not a bad thing i'm just saying it's not you know it's not going to put food on the table now i really like this deck i have for quite some time i really don't think i've touched it much as far as refinement since um Yeah, actually, when it came out, I just touched it up before the third set came out. It wasn't that big of a deal. But, um, yeah. It mostly just goes rush to the field, do straight damage, kill things, do more damage, kill things, and, yeah, be as fast as possible to win. It's pretty much taking advantage of, well, the red package in Force of Will, which is very much overpowered, to say the least, especially Lancelot. Uh, Rook Egg and Cthulhu, which I also haven't drawn into, which is not exactly great opening for this deck. Don't believe I draw a Lancelot for ages. I think I have to Rook Egg into it. Um, th that was a broken combo, which still is in America. Uh, well, it still is in countries like Australia where we still play, <clears throat> excuse me, where we still play uh, full New Frontiers. And I expect to see some of the AGP in the next couple of days. No, next week, sorry, next week. But just putting it out there, I think Lancelot is probably more... Rocket into Cthulhu is a huge opening that does a lot of damage. Lancelot controls the board and does so much damage in such a way that it clears out games very fast if your opponent isn't ready for it. Down the Drain was a really good card. I'm glad they printed that. But yeah, um, my friend's playing a Faria deck. It basically just, well, he plays it in such a way that it meanders around a lot until it flips and then just heals a lot, heals a lot to recoup all the damage it's taken early game and buff up its board. Plays a lot of cards that heal because uh, Faria gives uh, plus one, plus one counters when she heal, when you heal the board, uh, heal yourself. It's not a bad deck. Um, I, I do actually have to say I'm surprised he worked in the last Charlotte shift, uh, Force of flip cards that aren't rulers now. Uh, this is actually taken a little while ago because Untap uploads all the, well, because it's user done, they, people upload them as the previews come out, which is good for testing. But yeah, I, I like how we interact, integrated Charlotte and Lars in there because uh, it's the same type of counter. So sh when Faria produces them, Charlotte can just use them and 
well, one of, it's a huge powerhouse. Anyway, I think yeah, if you flip into it, it's 10-10. Uh, Furry can easily get it up to like 14-14 or some such nonsense. And, well, actually, it's not nonsense in Force Field, it's pretty common. But at least it takes a while to get into. And if it happens to die, chase, remove all counters, draw four to uh, a card for every four counters. It's like, yeah, that, that's a, it's, it seems worse on paper than it really is. I'm not saying it's great. Again, you have to have a really sluggish deck with Faria, or given that the new decks come with die to keep a count of counters, I wonder how much else is going to work with Charlotte, but it works fine enough. Fast decks have their way with it. That's just what I'm trying to get across. Though, I honestly, we all poo-pooed Faria when she came out. Now that everything's settled, oh well, for people who've been testing the cards prior to release, I don't think Faria's the worst of the uh, Memorial Rulers. I think without question Rezard is. Rezard is genuinely bad. It's too slow. The, the type of deck is too slow. It just doesn't do anything. Really. It it just kind of sits there meandering around. Even if you make a Crocker Shark deck, I think I actually have a vid few videos with Crocker Shark decks because uh, I won for a full three games. Most of my games are just one-offs because we're just messing around testing shit. Yeah, um, I have a deck uh, video, three games. Once the opponent figures out how, well, Crocker Shark works better with Rezard because Rezard can just go, well, not Rezard, Melgus. Jeez, I'm getting my names confused. Crocker Shark works better with Melgus than it does Rezard because Melgus can just, after you've set off your Crocker Sharks the following turn, he can just, because you're running 36 Crocker Sharks, he can just flip into all of them, uh, three more, and just pump the field by plus six plus six. And they'll have swiftness, and they're probably around 14 14, which is a lot of damage. Um, if you catch the opponent by surprise and they don't know you're doing it, or they, well, they're not red so they can't cope with it, it does fairly well. Or they don't have things like interdimensional escape. Um, if the opponent is ready for it, and particularly Flame King Shout and just continuously whacks into them, um, things die pretty fast. But yeah, uh, Yeah, I made a slight mistake here. I, uh, I don't think I pressed C correctly. Because if... Uh, I'm just explaining it to him. He had a bit of confusion about quick cast. Yeah, well, actually, the confusion is drawn from my honest mistake. Um, uh, doesn't matter too much. The game was going to go the same way anyway. Uh... Yeah, what, what can I add? I'm probably using this ticket AGP. Uh, I think I've posted around places and gotten the same comments. Use Reflect, use Reflect. I don't enjoy Reflect. I, I Well, actually, that's not true. I do enjoy Reflect. I just don't enjoy it here. I enjoy Reflect uh, in green and blue together because green and blue in Fossil Will make blue in magic and as well it's classic blue in magic too and as we all know classic blue in magic is really fun well really enjoyable um yeah this game is going to end really soon i think it is into uh susano down there susano is a really good card i'm gonna be sad when it goes yeah when it goes dragons will be more playable because 
he becomes a three drop for um, your opponent having a dragon. That's really mean. And you can just go straight into 1600 damage, kill something, because the enter ability to bring Amano Habakiri, which I have in my hand, and then attack and do another one, and he has peace, and it's fun, and you kill things, and you do lots of damage. Yeah, I don't think I really care what dies here because I'm winning and he only has 15 and he's probably going to get kill pressure. Yep. And it does 500 to him anyway and I'm like, well, it'll do neutral damage because of um, the end, the ruler entrance skill of Knight of the North or South, whatever that one is that. Um, as you'll notice, I hover my cursor over cards a lot mostly to show the the viewer what they're watching. I pre-planned recording the... well, while I was recording these, I did think of the logistics. You can't really see the cards that easily unless I do highlight them so you can see what they are. Which common courtesy. Yeah, I, I'm just planning on Susanoing at this point. It's like, why would I not Susano? Uh, I like Susano in Vanguard as well. It's a Character I quite enjoy. Um, oh yeah, yeah, he makes a mistake of letting me uh, block into Rook Egg, and I just can search my deck for Lancelot, bring out Lancelot, and then just slam into shit. It, it's well, yeah, it, it would have been hard for him to get around it anyway, but yeah, yeah, this, this game ends pretty quick now. I think it's just a matter of. Me taking my turn. Uh, yeah, because I can take Faria. Well, he didn't block with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we can see how I win here. Uh, Sasano into Abano Habakiri. Kill the knight. Do the 1600 damage. And things get really funny from there. I forget if I call anything other than Lancelot. Uh, nope. I don't care. Because I can just go into uh, Sasano and kill shit. And him. And yeah, I think this was a pretty good game. Everyone, my, my deck slowed down enough for him to have fun. Uh, I won in a way that, honestly, I don't think I've won in real life that way before, but it sure is enjoyable to watch and perform. I'm having a great time watching it again. It's really enjoyable to see. Uh, I think I should close up here because I think this video ends in a couple of minutes because yeah it, it gets into gg and yeah just explaining all the skills to him and yes yeah, he's got 15 life i'm doing 16 damage and yeah i, I hope people enjoy this uh, me play, sh talking over my videos. I, I could put music here. A friend of mine uh, records real life games, which I hope to do if I can get the equipment to do so. Um, or someone can lend it to me or bring it. But um, if you don't like it, please tell me. I, I wouldn't mind just putting over uh, copyright free music. So, yeah. see you later, guys.